I'm here choreographing a piece on 20 ADF students. I'm making a dance for 21 dancers, so you'll see a massive amount of people on stage. I've made a new piece um, on a group of students. I have 19 women that I'm working with. Really did cast 18 with two understudies, but I've started incorporating the two understudies into the piece. Normally for my own work, there might be six people, eight people. For larger collaborative pieces, maybe 10, 13. I usually work solo or with very small groups, maybe three or four people. I've done bigger works for maybe nine or 10, 11 people. They were very generous here and said, you know, you could work with three people, you could work with five people. When I realized that 350 students were gonna audition for me, it's not that I felt obligated. The challenge presented itself and I thought, why not push myself and see what can happen. I thought maybe I'll work with 16, 17, and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna work with 21. I knew that I wanted to do a large group for a few reasons. One of them is just, it's good for the students to have more opportunities to just get more people on stage. Another reason was I don't really get to work with that many dancers. When I hire dancers, there's no way that I could possibly afford to hire 19 dancers and to work for six weeks like this. I don't think that there's any particular meaning behind the piece except for these individuals relating to each other as bodies as well as people. It's been a giant challenge coming into rehearsal every day and seeing all those faces and those bodies and then those arms and legs. <laughs> it's very daunting. I miss working more intensely with a smaller group, but then I wouldn't have this experience where I get to see these washes and waves of people. I can't imagine not being with them all the time. I can't imagine one of them not here or so it's really like they were, we were supposed to make this work together. I've been making material, they've been making material, and then I've been directing them. I get to see what their movement material is like, how they like to dance. It just allows me to see what it is that they do well or what movement material they feel comfortable in. There's something in that movement that reveals a lot about who they are. My goal is really to create a sense of community within this group, a sisterhood. The energy that is felt among them is what really what I was excited about. It felt like they were really dancing together, listening as well as putting out information with their bodies. To have all these women on stage taking space, dancing large, I wanted to explore movement material that for the most part is very physical, it has a celebration of the sensation in the body. Really strong, but yet feminine at the same time. They don't have to be one or the other. I had one of my dancers come in to talk with the dancers to hear from um, not the horse's mouth, but one of the my dance horse's mouths about what it actually means to perform my work. For me, it's been a really good process for them to open up to understand my work as well as I think their own dancing. They feel like the work we're doing in the piece is actually affecting how they think about other work that they have done in the past as well as classes that they've been taking here. You're in this environment, in this very saturated, creative, environment where everybody's sharing information. You're seeing people coming out of classes and teachers that you know and colleagues and mentors and people that you've admired for years. So it really is like a very good creative boost. For us Footprints choreographers, it really is a huge opportunity because of the visibility, but also in everyday life, I am teaching a lot of classes during the day and then I come to rehearsal at night or I'm trying to find you know, an hour here or an hour there to rehearse. To be here for six weeks and to really be able to let my brain focus solely on this one creative act. I feel like I have time to really marinate on all of my choices. Working in Footprints is definitely a different experience than our classes because we're really thrown into a professional environment. We get to inspire the piece that's being created and it's really about the choreographer's creative vision but also what we can bring to the piece as dancers.